wish I could say I look very handsome today. I gotta go, I'm booking a trip to Haight-Ashbury because that's where Woodstock is. That's how long my hair is. I'm joining the Cow Sills, they sang the song hair. I'm David Bronstein, I'm a media agency, a branding agency, DB Media Empire. If you want a billionaire's lifestyle, you email me, davestvworld.look.com. Message me, email me, whatever you have to do. Please give me thumbs up, likes, whatever the hell you do. Likes, subscribe, hit the bell, like all the people say. I need a content manager. If you're a content manager, please get in touch with me. We're shooting for the billion dollar prize. You gotta play in the billion dollar world. Here's what's going on. My company is DB Media Empire. We're a branding agency. We replicate successful billionaire business models. We outsource around the world, marketing, influencers, executive management, YouTube stars, TikTok stars, podcasters, bloggers, live streamers, esports gamers. We have one goal, hit the billion dollar prize. Join the billion dollar club. Now, the reason of this, uh, I, I promised I was going to blog every Monday. Today's Thursday. What do you want from me? <laughs> As Michael Dell says, billionaire Michael Dell, Dell from Dell Computers. You only need one gig to be the next billion dollar deal. That's, that's, that's the world we play in. We're shooting for the billion dollar prize to join the billion dollar club. What do you do all day to join the billion dollar club? Make $20 an hour? Is that what you do? You know, $100,000 a year job, $100,000 is $50 an hour. You can't join the billionaire club at $50 an hour. I know people that make 100000 a year. They complain to me all day. They don't have any money. They don't have any money. No money. They have a job. The job pays eight, eight. You trade an hour of your time. One hour for $20. One hour for $50 an hour. Can't get rich like that, but that's what people do. You need a job. You got to pay the rent, the food. Like, there goes the hollering. Has it not been down the whole time? The food. The, I'm in my kid's bedroom. I'm very professional. But he has a studio in here. It looks like Warner Brothers in here. Oh, there's Jack Warner. And there's Louis B. Mayer. You get rich by doing deals that generate unlimited cash. And that's the world we play in. To ge we uh, generate unlimited cash, which I'm about to tell you in a second. So I know players that make 100000 a year, which is $50 an hour. Can't get rich. But here's the deal. When they trade one hour for $50, they work eight hours for the day. That's it. That They get paid for eight hours. But I know people that make $100,000 a year, they get paid for eight hours, and they work 12 hours, 14 hours. They don't get paid. No overtime. No extra money, nothing. They just continue, they work after eight hours. They don't make any money. And then you say, well, who would do that? I know people that do it. Wow, because they're so busy. They wouldn't believe how they didn't get their work done in the eight hours. They have to work 12, 14, 16 hours. They work on weekends. They don't make any money. Now, who would do that? Kooks. <laughs> would you do that? You get paid for eight hours. You don't get paid after eight hours. I know people that hang up the phone after eight hours. I know people that turn off the computer. They hang up the phone. They leave the office when you could leave the office. Now you got to work from home. But they turn everything off. They don't go near anything. And I, I know people that, that call them. They said, leave me alone. I, I'm finished. I can only get paid for eight hours. I'm not trading another hour of my time if I'm not getting paid $20, $50, whatever you get paid for that hour. I know people say, I'm not doing it. And then I know people that will continue to work 12, 14 hours and not get paid. And they come up, they rationalize. I'm busy. I didn't get the work done. But I admit, whatever the bullshit story is. And they complain to me. They don't have any money. <laughs> I try to explain to them, which I'm going to explain to you. You get, you're talking to me? You get 16 hours awake, eight hours asleep. Now, yeah. another blog is getting, making money 24 hours, which is another blog. But you get 16 hours awake. What you do in those 16 hours determines your cash, your lifestyle, your wealth. What you, do, the actions you do in those 16 hours. You got to do actions to generate cash. If in your, you wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, you go to bed 11 o'clock at night, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. 16 hours? Let's divide by 4. Subtract the 6. I think, Andrew, can I get a compass, please? From 7 in the morning, and you go to bed 11 o'clock at night. It's what you do in those hours. Now, you have a job. You, have, you take a shower. You have to eat. You work 8 hours. Now, you got another 8 hours. You got to make money. You have to make yourself unlimited cash. Because when you're working, you're generating your boss unlimited cash. Because if your boss is paying you $50 an hour... I'm going to tell you, you're getting him four to one. You're getting him $200 an hour because he ain't paying you 50 an hour for you to get him $10 an hour, for you to get him $25 an hour. Whatever your hourly rate, you're getting him at least four times per hour than what he's paying you. That's how the job works. So you have to generate unlimited cash to be wealthy. And my deal is the David Bronstein world gets you unlimited cash, but you have to message me. You have to email me, davestvworld.look.com. So you have one group of people that have jobs. They work eight hours. They make $20 an hour, $30 an hour, $50 an hour, whatever you make an hour. They trade one hour, give me $30. One hour, it, it give me $20. I, I, you can't get rich like that. After eight hours, 
then you have to generate yourself unlimited cash. But I know a group of people that make 100,000 a year, 200, 200,000, I, I know a kid that makes 120,000 a year, he started uh, as an engineer, went to college to be an engineer, it's not enough for him to live in, in Toronto, he can't buy a house. Houses are a million, two million, he's living in his in-laws, got married, lives in his in-laws basement, makes 120,000 a year, not enough money. The wife's the teacher, social worker, something, she makes 60,000 a year, 180,000 a year, so round it off to 200,000 a year, 100,000 an hour between the two of them, don't have any money. Can't have no money to buy a house. Then they're going to go back to college to get more degrees because they're hoping they can make two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the year. They don't understand they're making one hundred eighty thousand now. Can no money because you got now. Here's the purpose of the story. A wonderful guy just called me from Miami. Wonderful guy. He says, Dave, I watch your crazy blogs. I watch. What the hell do you do? I hear you pickles make our billions, make our billions. You have an agency you're like Gary V. Gary V makes two hundred million a year, which is true Vayner Media. You say your agency's like Gary V. What do you do? As you know, my wife asks me the same thing every day. What do you do? I'm going to tell you now what I do. Andrew, what do I do? I'm going to tell you right now what I do. And what do I do? <laughs> I own a branding agency. What is, does anybody ever ask what Gary V does? Gary V charges $1,000 a minute for his time. A minimum of 15 minutes. If you want to talk to Gary V, I don't want to talk to Gary V. It's going to give him fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen minutes, one thousand a minute, fifteen thousand dollars, and you get fifteen minutes with Gary V because he gets it. Because your time is the most precious thing you have in the world. Why am I doing these bullshit blogs? <laughs> which is one business model of monetizing content, which I'll be I'll tell you in a second. So the David Bronstein world is in the unlimited cash world. As I was telling my friend from Miami, he was a wonderful guy. And what do I do? We own a branding agency. I don't charge 1,000 a minute. I charge 500 a minute. I figure man, I get more clients at 500 a minute versus a thousand. I don't want to work that hard, a thousand a minute. I'll charge 500 a minute. And I was talking to an entertainment lawyer. He charges 1,050 an hour. One thousand, that's a lot of money. 1,050 an hour he charges for his time. Gary V charges 1,000 a minute. That's the world to play in. My company's a branding agency. We replicate successful billionaire business models. We outsource marketing and management to run the business models online so my company can promote them on television, on television infomercials because it's the fastest, easiest way to get on TV is to buy the time. So what are these business models? All these business models are proof of, proof of concept, billionaire business models, e-commerce, affiliate marketing, crowdfunding, monetized content, side gigs, side hustles. Every deal is its own asset. I'm in the asset business. We keep compiling assets because assets generate cash 24 hours, seven days a week, unlimited cash. E-commerce is an asset. So now we're in the e-commerce business. So I that's, that's the, the business model of the asset of generating unlimited cash e-commerce. So now we partner with Shark Tank type inventors. Inventors like uh, Sham Wow and Slap Shop, all the crap you don't need. Snuggy Blanket, Proactive Spanx, Kind Candy, all the crap you don't need. Every product I just mentioned did a billion dollars, a billion dollars. So we partner with inventors, suppliers, manufacturers of products. I don't go to China and manufacture my own product and get a mold and bullshit. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about products. I'm the first thing, I, I'm not married to the products. I'm married to cash. I'm married to a billionaire's lifestyle. And what's the fastest way to hit a billionaire's lifestyle? You do what billionaires do, and that's our business model. So if you wanna talk about e-commerce, which is one asset, so first I partner with inventors, supplier, manufacturers. I have a product called Naughty Tamer, a product called Naughty Pet, a product called Herbon. You message me, email me, I'll send you all our products. Great. And they all drop ship for us. I don't inventory anything because I don't care what the hell they do. They're all numbers to me. Now we partner with e-commerce sellers. We partner with power sellers, Shopify, Alibaba, Amazon, uh, uh, Let Go, uh, Rakuten, uh, Wayfair. May May Mayfair is a movie theater I grew up with as a kid. I didn't live in that area. It's called the Mayfair area, but it was a movie theater that I saw. I think I saw, I, the, I was at the Mervin, I'm going on a tangent, Mervin, I saw um, Escape from the Planet of the Apes, I saw Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, I don't remember what I saw at the Mayfair, but it was an old time, movie. not old time, they had a, the ticket booth in the middle, the tile floors, a wonderful time growing up in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia. but Wayfair, the, the company, wait, my wife's office, my wife's a big recruiter, big exec, she's I'm an executive, she's an executive, my wife's a big executive, she is, where her office is, is a gigantic, I was on the way to the office, a gigantic, I can't tell you how big it is, warehouse for Wayfair. 
I can't begin to tell you. It looks like a football field. You know how big a football, that's how big it is, a football field, maybe 10 for, for Wayfair, for all e-commerce. So we partner with e-commerce inventors, suppliers, manufacturers. I partner with sellers, Amazon, Shopify, Rakuten. And we say, take my suppliers' products and put them on your stores. You're the pros. That's my e-commerce asset. We partner with inventors, suppliers, manufacturers, and then we partner with Amazon sellers, power sellers, to put our products on their stores. They buy through my company because my e-commerce division is a distributor of products. And then we put them on television based on success. So that's one asset. As I said to you in this blog, affiliate marketing, uh, crowdfunding, side gigs and side hustles, monetized content. So monetized content are all these influencers, like my friend called me today, his kids. His kids are teenagers, teenagers. His kids started a marketing agency. First of all, his kids are huge sneaker influencers. The sneaker business is a billion dollar business. Now you may not know that, that's why you come to David Bronstein, because I'm gonna share all these deals with you. The sneaker, these kids buy sneakers, a thousand, ten thousand, fifty thousand dollars for a bullshit sneaker. That's a new world. I, 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 my father had a shoe store. I used to tell people, there's no business like shoe business. I did a documentary to my father's shoe store. But he sold Converse sneakers for $25. The customers would come in, do you have any Chucks? Chucks, they all call them Chucks, Chucks, do you have Chucks? He was selling sneakers for $25. Converse, Chuck, Chuck Converse, he was a basketball player. What's his name? Whatever Chuck. Whatever that was, Converse sneakers, whatever that was, it had the Chuck signature on it. Now these sneakers sell for $5,000, dollars $20,000. These kids, his kids, are huge sneaker influencers. And his kids now have an agency, whether if you have a product to market online, not through e-commerce, just you want a, a shout out. They're called shout outs. And you probably know nothing about this. I know about the, the, these influencers that, that are brand ambassadors. I know about that. I don't know about his kids until he called me today from Miami. His kids have an agency. The kids hire influencers, uh, celebrities. They represent celebrities. His kids were teenagers, right? celebrities. And the celebrities have 9 million, 10 million, 50 million, 100 million followers on Instagram. So the celebrity will say, hey, check out this product, check out this brand. Hey, I want all my followers to follow this other influencer on Instagram. So, so if you're on Instagram, you have 10,000 followers, 100,000 followers, you want 500,000 followers, you hire these kids. You get in touch with me, I'll put you in touch with these kids. So these kids, he was telling me, some of these celebrities charge $10,000 for a shout out. Hey, check out this influencer. Go follow him. A shout out. $10,000, $50,000. He told me one influencer charges $100,000. $100,000 for a shout out. Now I heard of influencers that charge $100,000 to a million for one post, for one picture, for one brand. Hey, check out these sneakers. Check out this perfume. Check out this line of clothes. And they put the picture of the brand. But the shout out, just to say, hey, check this out. Hey, uh, check out this product. Not even a picture, just a shout out, $100,000. So th so one of these um, his kids' clients could charge $20,000 for a shout out. Customers will pay his kids $5,000, $10,000. So they make $10,000, $5,000 for each shout out. So if the celebrity charges $10,000 a shout out, and there's 10,000 shout outs, then the celebrity makes $100,000. Then the kids have clients that pay them five and ten thousand. The kids can make a hundred thousand dollars total. Whatever I just said. So that's what I do. Andrew, what do I do? An opportunity falls in my lap. The David Bronstein World DB Media Empire is the agency, like Gary Vee is. Because he said to me, Dave, what do you do? You say you're like Gary Vee. Well, Gary Vee generates over two hundred million a year. My company a little less. So opportunities fall in my lap, and we create divisions of each opportunity. We create assets. So now we're going to have a influencer marketing agency. We already have a digital marketing agency as part of my company, DB Media, D, DB Media Marketing. We have DB Media Talent where we represent influencers, brand ambassadors, gamers, live streamers. Each division of my company is an asset. Then we put marketing and management to run the assets. And it's all numbers. And we only have one goal. Hit the billion dollar prize. I'm not, I'm not here to build the company. And yes, we, we could do acquisitions. We could buy up other companies. Companies could buy my company. There's a huge company, a huge e-commerce company called uh, Therio, Therio. If you mess with me, I'll tell it to you. They just raised 500 million. They're valued at a billion. They're on Amazon and they buy up other stores. They buy up other e-commerce stores on Amazon. Uh, T-H-A-R-I, Therios. Uh, uh, that's what I do. Opportunities fall on my lap and I put, put together management and marketing to run the deals and each deal is an asset. But we only have one goal, hit the billion dollar prize. That, that's all. And then we, then we go off the, to the Bahamas. We go to the Atlantis. I like the Atlantis. 
So we only play in the billionaire leagues when you say we got to make a billion. It's all true. I, I ain't kidding you. And these kids are making a billion. These startup kids, the kid that started Casper, beds online. They said, we have an idea. I'm going to sell beds in the mail. They went to VCs. The VC said, don't do it. It's dumb. It's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. You're going to lose money. Don't do it. The kids, five kids, college kids, they put 10000 each on their credit cards, $50,000. They started the Casper company. Now they're worth a billion dollars. Don't do it. I'm starting a company called Don't Do It. <laughs> so that's what I do. So when you see me pitch, let's make our billions. Got to make billions. We hire. You hear me? We hire everybody. We hire everybody. Well, how can I? My Andrew says, how can you hire? And his recruiter says, interviews, interviews. You got two, three, four, five interviews. You background checks, bullshit. We hire everybody. How can we hire everybody? Because I play in the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 strategy. I hire 100 people. 80 do shit. Jesus Christ. The dog, dog's knocking everything over here. <laughs> Very professional blog. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. <laughs> the 80-20 rule. That's what I do. 80-20. Come on. I can't wait. Very professional. I got a whole crew behind me here. I do. There's lights. And I, you can see these lights here. Can you see the lights? See if I stand here. Lights. There's a whole crew here. I'm videotaping this with my camera. I can't go to this. I have two